Today we are taking a look at some of the Pokemon cards that are on the move. And we're starting off with the Eevee. Now this one, we're maybe just a little bit behind because it just had a big run up right here. It went from around $45 up to 56 ish and now it's kind of come down a little bit. Um, this card was very popular from Twilight Masquerade when it launched. Um, last solds, we're seeing uh, this card might be coming down a little 40 and 50 40 and 50 dollar range um for the eevee but yeah quite a little bit of a run-up right there still up 18 percent in the past one month alone so those are some solid gains so that's including it coming back down a little um adorable card extremely popular pokemon um but yeah it, it had been hovering around that range for a while <clears throat> um when it initially came out it was only around 25 dollars uh it's not at its one year high it went as high as 60 so uh, nearing that one year high, we'll be interested to see kind of where this card ends up. Uh, but for now, some bounce back gains uh, for the Eevee. Now that got me thinking about Twilight Masquerade. I just wanted to check in on the booster boxes real quick. This video is mainly about singles, but something very interesting is happen happening with Twilight Masquerade. And we kind of need to talk about it just so you guys can be aware. So on TCG player, the booster box prices, uh, it's showing 152 uh, and 27% growth in the past three months and almost 10% in the past month alone. But this is what's interesting, what you guys are going to want to pay attention to. Check out these last solds. 160, and we'll call these ones 170. 170, 170, and then a lot of 163s. And there's some down here a little further back. We're seeing some 150s, some 140s. But what you guys need to understand, if you guys are maybe newer and you don't... Uh, aren't totally aware of kind of how the market works. Something usually very interesting happens uh, with these booster boxes once they get near or above MSRP. The new MSRP for this era, for the Scarlet and Violet era, is 161.63. So what happens is people will be buying from, and not everyone has access to the Pokemon Center too, just so you guys know. Uh, they don't ship everywhere, so depending on where you live, you you probably can't even purchase from the Pokemon Center. But if this price, we were seeing, what was it, 163 above MSRP, when it becomes cheaper to open from the uh, to purchase from the Pokemon Center, we some crazy things can happen. Now, let me uh, let me give you guys like the full. It, just because it hits MSRP, um, usually what needs to happen is the Pokemon Center needs to be sold out, okay? Uh, if it sells out on the Pokemon Center, then usually the uh, third-party markets, like TCG Player, eBay, they will rise usually fairly quickly, sometimes into the $180, $200 mark, depending on the box. But something that you guys need to know, when that happens, a lot of the times the Pokemon Center, uh, they'll sell out and then they'll restock. They'll like get a few some more inventory and it could happen a few times so just keep aware if you're looking at picking up twilight um we're at it like a like a boiling point a critical mass point almost for the set so th that'll be very interesting so just keep an eye on that uh this video wasn't about that but i just wanted to touch on that since it's kind of where we're at then we have this is the primal groudon uh, from primal clash and we're seeing some good growth on this card not a lot of sales uh but 16% growth in the past three months. So it, it made the list um, and almost 10% in the past month alone. Uh, super cool card, by the way. Uh, I, I like this card. I like um, all of these ones that have like the, the text like shining, like going through. Um, I do think that's pretty cool. Um, but Primal Groudon uh, getting a little bit of love here. We'll zoom out to the one year and just kind of see. So we, this is very steady growth. Uh, over the past year, 74% just chugging along. Uh, some of these XY cards uh, might be making some moves, depending on what happens, like some of the Megas, um, like this, Mega, um, because that's supposedly coming in the new Pokemon game, Mega Evolution, so we'll see. Uh, some people banking on that, uh, if that drives price up, we'll see. Uh, next up we have the Pidgeotto uh, from Obsidian Flames. 20% up in the past three months and whoo, almost 50% in the past month alone, just continuing to chug uh, the Pidgeotto. We'll zoom out to the one year here and take a look. Wow, it's very up, down, up, down, up, down, but bing, bing, big old uh, gain at the end. 79% growth in the past 
year uh, at its one-year high. We'll check last solds. We're seeing you know, it's a little bit all over the place, 480, then 240, and then 390. So, um, yeah, it looks like maybe this card might be coming down just a little after that big, uh, big spike. We'll see. Have to keep an eye on that one. Um, but Obsidian Flames got me thinking about some. I uh, sorry, took a look at some other Obsidian Flames stuff, and I found this was interesting. So we have the the Charizard from 151 just blowing up, right? And just wondering, like, is that gonna or other Charizards gonna move with that? Well, here's one that's looks like it is a little. Um, so this is the Obsidian Flames, uh, the SIR here, which I think is a cool card. Uh, I do like the artwork on this card. I like the style. Um, I said that this card was undervalued for a while. Um, we're finally seeing some growth, which is good. Up 21% in the past three months and almost 15% in the past month alone. We saw a big number of sales right here. Um, 45 sales at that $46 range. So yeah, uh, we'll zoom out. Obviously, not at its one-year high, because when it came out, it was much more expensive than $66 even uh, at release. So yeah, not at a one-year high, but bouncing off this low of $39 up into the $50 range. So it's nice to see. Uh, last sold uh, is $51, but then we're seeing a 49 but also a 58 and 46, 48. So uh, sales are a little bit all over the place. We'll see where this card stabilizes, but... Nice to see this card. Uh, I like to see this card having some growth, so it's good to see. Um, then we'll just touch on this real quickly. This is the Pokemon Center exclusive ETB. It's kind of leveling out, it looks like, a little bit. Uh, it's been on a massive tear. 58% uh, growth in the past three months and 27% in the past month alone. And look at that, 54% over the past uh, one year. And yeah, just some pretty big growth. I uh, just wanted to touch on that. While I had Obsidian Flames pulled up, we got a few more cards. Uh, I think we're going to jump over to some 151. We got the the Bulbasaur. $32. 40%. 40% gain in the past three months. Uh, 151's been on a tear. 18% uh, in the past month alone. We'll zoom out to the one year. Uh, we're seeing it just came off of its one year high at $33, and it's now around $31. However... Most recent sale, 36. So it looks like in 30, 30, 31. So this card could potentially... Phew, just another one that's kind of on its way up, potentially. Uh, we'll see where it shakes out. Um, but yeah, they're saying $32 market price for the Bulbasaur. Which is crazy. I, it's a little crazy, considering... I mean, back here, could have had it for sub-20. So yeah, some good growth on the Bulbasaur. Then we got, we're going to touch on them again. I know it's been a lot of 151 heavy stuff, but I think it's important to see uh, where it's at. Okay, this is like, this is a card that's having big swings daily. And look at this chart, 90% up. Uh, that's in the past three months. The one month, up 70%. So it looks like it's come down a little. It was at, they had the market around 220, now it's around 218. But I think it's important to... Uh, look at some of the most recent sales. We do have a 171 sale, but then 230, 210. Uh, what is this? Yeah, this one had pictures. 227. So um, that market price seems kind of about right. Um, yeah. So what you're going to be seeing, since this card's running up, what a lot of people are going to be doing is rushing to get their cards listed and sold um, to capitalize on this big move up so we'll see where the new floor ends up for this a lot of the times after a run-up the card comes up uh, we saw this with the alt art boom like earlier this year right cards run up and then they retrace now i'm not saying that it's going to retrace back to this 120 mark usually they settle a little higher so we'll see um we'll see what happens with that that's that's usually what happens so uh, it'll just be interesting to to see where this charizard the Sunzard, um, where he ends up, but it's been kind of a wild ride, uh, with 151. And I was talking about some of the other cards. I was like, should we be seeing growth on some of the other cards? Like, is the Charizard going to pull some other cards up? Here we have the War Turtle, um, 26% gain past three months. 
uh, 16, almost 17% in the past month alone. And we're right here. I was at 23. So we're not at a one year high right now. We just kind of bounce off of one. Last solds we're seeing, let's see, this is a high, $32. But we're also seeing 20, 24, 20. So a lot of people, when these cards run up, people are going to list and they're going to undercut, right? People are going to be like, well, I'll sell mine cheaper just to, you know, get it out. But that's what we see on eBay, see on TCG. It's a battle to the bottom. And so it'll be interesting to see where these cards end up. But yeah, after a spike, they usually come down a little, um, kind of like this little chart right here. Then we have the Blastoise. Um, one of my favorite artworks from 151. Absolutely love it. Um, 26% past three months. Super solid. And look at this amount of sales. So this is looking a little bit like what happened. We'll go back to the Charizard for a second. You see how in this three month chart, the most sales are in this two day window, right? And now there's a lot more listed. There used to not be that many listed. So what happens and can happen with the Blastoise, there's only 47 listed, okay? And it's only at what, like 60 bucks for the card. So, I mean, it takes some money, but not a ton. Um, so this potentially could be seeing, could be due for a big run up, kind of like the Charizard, just because there's not that many listed right now. And somebody just bought a bunch or a bunch of people bought a bunch. Yeah, however you want to look at it, the most sales in the past three months were in the last few days. So the Blastoise might be heading up as well, similar similar to the Charizard. So uh, we pull out last solds. Last sold, almost $80. 63 dollars 48 So um, 50s and 60s, but one as high almost as 80 So we'll see where the Blastoise ends up. I think this might be an important one to keep an eye on. Like I said, because with only 47 copies out there, somebody could buy all of these right now. And lowest listed right now that's not Japanese is 62. So, um, yeah, somebody could buy all these out and we could see another run up uh, on the Charizard. There was a, uh, we talked about it in one of the most recent videos. We talked about how TCG player was theorizing that the Greninja price movement uh, was kind of just from one person buying them out. Um, so these things do happen. Um, especially on TCG player when there's small quantities, um, somebody can purchase them all. Now with, with the Greninja, it ran up and then it's held steady at like, it's like 270, 280, uh, per, per card there on the Greninja. So we'll see what happens with, uh, 151. Uh, we, we went over pull rates, uh, in a recent video, it's about one in 220 packs for a specific SIR. So um, the pull rates are a lot easier from 151, but product has been scarce. Um, yeah, I mean, at lo like locally, I can't find any, um, but there was a big um, restock, reprint, wh whatever you want to call it. It was widely available and some still popping up, but like booster bundles um, on Amazon, uh, Walmart, everywhere, um, GameStop. But 151, obviously in demand, supply and demand. Um, is a thing obviously so um i'm ranting a little bit so i'm going to end this one here but i just wanted to touch on some of these cards that are moving and we touched on a little bit of sealed product uh, which was mo mostly meant to be about the singles but um the uh twilight keep an eye on the twilight masquerade uh because once that pokemon center with price continues to come up and the pokemon center sells out it, it might be in for a wild ride um, but that's going to do it for this one, guys. Uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. And remember, it was never a phase.